I'm Paige Reynolds. Uh, I'm a professor of Shakespeare at the University of Central Arkansas. You know, I think about this particular play, um, I think uh, of, of several different ways that people might be able to relate to this. You know, one, one thing I would say is if you want to experience a Shakespeare performance, this is a perfect place to begin or to come back to um, because it's got a little something for everyone. So if you if you like, you know, action and spectacle, there's there's war, you know, there's sword fighting on stage, so there's 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 blood, you know, so there's there's that action aspect of the play. Um, if you uh, prefer drama, you know, there's that. I mean, there are several different characters, Henry included, and at the forefront that are uh, that are undergoing these really, you know, personal, um, you know. Uh, tensions and struggles and trying to figure out who they are, you know, in the midst of this huge world that's happening around them. I feel like romance, you know, there's that too. So so there's that question up to the very end even, not just, you know, is he gonna is he gonna win her hand in marriage because she's a spoil of war, but can he make her fall in love with him? Is there going to be that romantic ending? You know, so there's that part too. There's comedy, there's some hilarious characters in this play. So really um, you know, it's it's um, that's not you know a tragedy or a comedy that people might be more familiar with in that way. A history like Henry V offers the best of both of those worlds. You know, you have you have death, you have uh, war, you have um, horror, you have um, you know drama, but you you also have this potential for hope and marriage and love. Um, so so all of that's there in this, and it's in a historical framework. But that's not necessarily the thing that we're most drawn to.